Hi everybody, it's Leslie Giuliani uh, for RNF Handmade Paints, and uh, I wanted to talk again about uh, making a faux leafed surface for a background in your paintings. So I did a previous video on how to use ancient gold uh, on top of Mars Red uh, to give that antique gold look um, to your background. Today I'm really going to talk about silver. Uh, silver is a beautiful uh, gilding effect, uh, but the background is uh, traditionally done differently. Um, while the red uh, background for the gold uh, enhances its warmth, for silver we're going to use a cooler color, which is traditionally used in the bowl for, or clay that we use in gilding for silver. And the two colors that I'll be using are these, um, iridescent silver, this way, and I've decided on blue ochre. Um, I really like the warm blue, uh, that this has a little bit of sienna in it, and it has a nice, uh, rich, deep color, but isn't quite black. You could use any other color blue that you like, or even a black, just something to bring out the cool tones. Okay, so, um, I want to also describe what I'm using here. I'm using an RNF 16 by 16 inch palette that's heated to 200 degrees so that while I'm painting my blue ochre on my background, I am um, also fusing at the same time. So one of the nice things about this method is that you can fuse while you paint. So I'm melting my blue ochre and caustic and I'm painting all over my substrate, which in this case is a sheet of uh, lightweight and Costaflex. Costaflex is a microfiber-like um, substrate. It is like a paper, but it's microfiber and very, very, very absorbent. And if you want to know more about Encostaflex, you can go to the website. Okay, so now I have my um, my blue background, my blue ochre background. And then in order to make it look like it was leafed, I'm going to um, apply the silver in squares as if it was put down in gold, gold leaf or silver leaf squares, which are traditionally uh, about three inches by three inches or three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Um, I'm just going to use the block, which is much smaller, but the effect will give the effect of putting it down like a leaf. So I'm going to start just by, just by um, making squares of silver. And when you put the silver down onto the heated palette, it melts and fuses at the same time. So you don't want to do this in a precise way, you want to give it that antique look. And since there's mica in the paint, that has to find a way to sit on top. So you just work slowly and let the paint melt. And create a series of blocks with voids so that the background will show through. And as you can see, it's melting right on the palette. No more fusing necessary. It gives a much, much cooler effect than the gold of the previous video, the ancient gold. But still, it will be very, very metallic. You can see it's got quite a bit of shine to it, and it's a beautiful background using iridescent silver on top of blue ochre. If you have any more questions, just give me an email, shout at lesliegiuliani at mac.com, and I hope you'll give silver on blue ochre a shot. Thanks. Bye.